Yeah? 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 Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. She's heating up the water and grinding the beans. Cassidy Delicious is drinking caffeine. That, that's supposed to be me drinking coffee. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn. Just, you know, trying to become a real adult. It'll happen eventually. I confessed something to you guys in a video just a couple of weeks ago. I have started drinking coffee. Wow. Up until less than a year ago, I never drank coffee. If I did drink coffee, it would have a bad effect on me. It made me feel tired. It made me feel dizzy. Like the opposite of what you think coffee is supposed to do to a human. But somehow now I'm at the point where I usually have at least one cup of coffee a day. And if I don't, I feel like I'm not totally awake. Maybe I just need more sleep. Anyways, here's how I've been drinking coffee since I actually started making it for myself. I have this instant coffee. And yes, you can make fun of me for it, as many people have done. You live in the Northwest and you drink... Matcha? Instant coffee. More coffee? But it really doesn't taste bad, and the convenience factor is totally worth it. All I do is microwave a mug full of water for one minute and 45 seconds, then take a spoonful of this, put it in the coffee, mix it around, add whatever else I want for the coffee, and it's done. That is every single step. But lately, I have realized that maybe there is something to be said for good coffee, for putting in more effort than just microwaving a cup of water and mixing it with a spoon. So recently when I was up in Seattle at my parents' house, they told me they had an extra coffee grinder. So that was step one because you need to, you know, grind the beans when it's not instant coffee. Then I had to decide what kind of coffee maker I wanted. So I settled on this lovely French press, which I think is quite beautiful and shiny. I don't know, my dad and my brother use a French press every day and they like it, so hopefully I will too. Then, since I'm gonna be making a whole French press full of coffee, I don't want to have to microwave multiple cups of coffee, so got this thing to boil the water. And anything that's pink just makes me happy, so it's a win already. Then of course, last but not least, you do not make French press coffee with this stuff. So I bought actual coffee. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your coffee. Shake your coffee. Who needs caffeine when you're already like this? So here's what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to make a French press coffee and then also make a cup of instant coffee. And we're gonna test them out and see if they taste any different or if this whole thing of adulting is a sham. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to heat up some water. Also, I have Justin Bieber Despacito stuck in my head very much. French press coffee. French press coffee. I don't know how much water we need, so I'm just going a little bit over the one liter line. So, we just put this on here. Wait, turn it. Wait, how do I do it? Oh, wait, it is on. Okay. Whew. <laughs> I was really worried there for a second. So, okay, what time is it? We're gonna see how long it takes to boil the water. French press coffee. You get me caffeinated French press coffee. Don't make me frustrated French press coffee. I will be so elated French press coffee. French press coffee. <laughs> this is taking too long, clearly. Are you getting warm? Oh yeah, it's getting warm. Oh, and yes, I hypothetically should be grinding the coffee beans while that's happening just to save a minute or two, but I do not have any extra outlets in this kitchen. It's bubbling. Yeah, 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 look at, look at, look at. So I guess I'm gonna unplug that so I can plug in the grinder and go on to step two. Um, okay, so this little handy scoop that came with my French press says seven grams per cup. So one scoop per cup of coffee. How many cups of coffee go into you? I have no idea. Like three? Feel free to comment below with how much coffee I should have actually put in here because I'm probably doing it wrong. But who has time to Google things, guys? I could have already made like five cups of instant coffee by now, so I'm not gonna waste time going on the internet and doing things right. Okay, gotta open the French press up. So, we got our coffee. What do we think? Oh, shoot! <laughs> Can you tell I have no idea what I'm doing? I legitimately just almost put the full coffee beans into the French press. Okay, now we get our coffee. One, two, three, and now we grind. Ooh, it's doing something, it's doing something! How long do I do this for? Will it tell me when it's done? Well, yep, there's coffee grounds everywhere. Does that look right? I mean, it, it smells good. It smells like coffee. 
It looks like coffee. Okay, now you can go into the French press. Why aren't you coming out? Gotta use the frickin' scoop to get you out? So far, I'm just feeling like this is taking a lot of unnecessary effort. Okay, hot water time? I hope there ain't nothing wrong with my little coffee grinds. Um, what am I doing now? Hot water, that's hopefully still hot. Woo, it's definitely still hot. Am I doing it right? Now, we put your little hat on and we let it sit. Shoot, how long do we let it sit for? I should actually look this up. Okay, four minutes. Four minutes is how long you let it steep. We only got four minutes to save the world! Or make some coffee! I mean, let's be honest. Sometimes it feels like coffee saves the world every single day. Oh, while that sits, let's make our instant coffee. We have our mug of water. We're gonna stick it in the microwave. One, 45. And actually now it has been four minutes, so the French press is done. Push down. Ah! Uh-oh, that's not good. Squish the beans to the bottom. I don't know how or why it started spilling. I'm sorry. So for this, we're just gonna take a scoop, put it in there, mix it around, let it dissolve. See, wasn't that easy? And now we're gonna pour our French press actual coffee in here. After we clean up our stove. Only a little bit though, I can do the rest later. Coffee is clearly the priority right now. It's coffee. And it didn't spill anywhere, so that's great news. Okay, so a full mug of coffee, leaving a little bit of room for putting some milk in there, was mm, almost half of the thing. No, I guess it was like a third, because I only filled it up to there. So I would do three full mugs of coffee. So first, we're gonna just taste it without any sugar, any milk, anything added to it. Which one am I trying? I think the French press. Yeah, definitely the French press. Okay, I mean, it looks like coffee. It smells like coffee. We're going to take a spoonful, blow on it so I don't burn my freaking tongue off, then we're gonna slurp it. I think it tastes good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the instant coffee, which apparently is much hotter than the French press. Okay, that definitely does have a more bitter taste to it. Back to the French press. Okay, yeah, that tastes better. So now, here's what I normally do to my coffee. I put some honey or agave in there and some almond milk. And now we'll try them again. This time we're gonna start with the instant coffee. Mm-hmm. Tastes like it does every morning. Okay, yeah, that tastes better. It's really smooth and doesn't have that Super bitter taste, wow. I mean, it's not life-changing, but it, it is a lot better. It does have a very smooth taste. I think I just keep saying smooth. I mean, it's it's Cassidy-licious. Mm-hmm, and caffeine-licious. I feel like this by itself, I could actually drink. The instant coffee by itself, I never want to drink. Wow, I guess this is what people talk about when they say you shouldn't make instant coffee, not that it's bad. I'm sure I will still do it on occasion when, you know, I'm in a rush and I really need to just get out the door and or have to take it with me and can't make it at home and I have to just like bring the thing to work. Okay, yeah, this was a success. You know what? This makes me want to savor every sip slowly, slowly. This is a success. I am now a coffee drinker. Those are both facts. Um, and another fact, I am legitimately worried that this will turn me into even more of a coffee drinker and coffee dependent human. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you drink coffee, if I did anything wrong in this French press coffee process, because I'm sure I did. And give this video a thumbs up for doing things that are good. Tasting? Subscribe to this channel because now I'm gonna be even more caffeinated, so that should be entertaining. Also, click that little bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. And I will see you on For Real Friday. Bye! I think at this point I'm just gonna dump this out because I don't want it. I feel very wasteful though. I'm not gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at you while I do it. I'm sorry! Did you just hear that noise it made? It's mad at me. The instant coffee is revolting.